Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo presage video using only blue weapons and armor. So I'm doing it on Warlock, Top Tree Nova. I'm using a primary shotgun with auto load and holster, as you can see on the screen there, the Botheration Mark 28. Harmony 21, which is a arc submachine gun. And the Future Imperfect, which is a solar sword. Now for my armor, I went with Passive Guard and uh, mobility increase, I went with Sword Scavenger, mobility increase again. The increases that I went with, you can see the Concussive Dampener and Recovery. Basically, I had to keep my base stats at a certain level. Submachine Gun Loader and Recovery Stat Increase. And on the helmet, I went with Sword Ammo Finder and uh, Resilience Increase. And that was literally to keep me, as you can see there with my numbers, that is to keep me at a certain level for all my, all my stats. Now let's talk a little bit as we're loading in about the power level. Some people are going to say, well, you're still 1326. Well, for this normal, this is just a normal presage. So I think you're, you're 1230. 1230 is the base power for this, this activity. You can only over level at an activity. You can only over level an activity, as far as I'm aware, by 20 power levels. So everybody that is 1250 and above, it's doing the exact same damage, so the power level shouldn't really matter. So, at this first starting bit, you can see I've, I've utilized straight away on the Warlock that skip jumping onto that kind of little kind of uh, bit on the sticking out the side of the ship. It, it looks like a big tongue screw, like a like a big nut and bolt. Uh, and, and, and I'm just trying to get through this as fast as possible. So the principles on this jumping puzzle, to start with, are exactly the same. In fact, I didn't see this as any different. Uh... So, you're, the idea is, roughly the same as when I'd done the last one, you're trying to get through this jumping puzzle, this, this little kind of uh, maze, if you like. It's not really, because there's not multiple ways to go, but this little bit, is running around the edge to open up the door, but as fast as possible, but just make sure you don't make any mistakes with the jumping. There's a lever there to the right, so if you've got friends that aren't very good at jumping, for the master as well, you can... Get them just to wait there, and the best person to jump will jump all the way around and open that, and that will open the door for everybody to come through. There's also a skip for, t for teams, uh, for players that aren't very good at the, the jumping, which it happens, and I'll show you uh, later on, which I will show you. So you make it up here. When we get to the section with the screeps, when you've got to go through that kind of... There's, there's an arc wall stopping you just from going straight to the end. This part here... Just pull out your sword and we just want to get some proximity explosions by just jumping over them as much as possible. Now, with the Warlock, you can do this thing with the Warlock. It's the exact same as the Titan. The timing's the same as the Titan's skate. Just jump and then boost the same as you would with the Titan. And the Warlock won't go up, he'll go forward. And that's what i done there. So again, just shoot the pod and get your Egregor Link. Move over here again. We're not really going to be fighting any ads. We don't have to fight. We won't fight. We'll get that proximity explosion. Same as here. We're not going to be coming back to this section. So we're just going to run past. Jump over here. Watch out for these two screebs there. And straight over. We won't be coming back here. So not really too bothered. Shotgun that fuse. Now this section here. We are going to be going backwards and forwards here a few times. So I'll just get my sword out. Want to get some of those proximity explosions. Jump up here. Activate this switch. You see there I'm just looking. I'll just throw my grenade down there. Try and get a few more kills. Uh, get my sword out. If I need to. And just I can just run past these. Now the sword will give you. As I say, passive guard. Now, now it's something I should explain because I think some people in, in the sub base, I said it in my last video, I will just reiterate it. Passive guard only works when you're in proximity to enemies. So it's not a case of tanking damage from all over the map with passive guard. I always bring my sword out because it allows me to block damage. Uh, when you come back down here, there's, there is a good chance you can see that, you're gonna, that one of these guys is going to be running away from you. See, there was a couple there. Now just shoot this fuse, and now we're in the trash compactor. Now, with the trash compactor, because this is normal and you're not on master, there's there's no time limit. You actually could just go down here and get all the screeps to explode, and then go and hide. If you couldn't find the 
if you couldn't find the fuses you can just go and hide at the opposite section to where we are now all the way down the other side if you're right in the center it won't kill you but as you can see here what i'm going to do is uh throw my grenade kill the kill the majority of the screebs with the grenade from the first wave you get two major waves of screebs there's the second wave they are very visual so you can see them coming in i'm just going to try and get some group explosions and then if i can't do the proximity explosion thing now what i'm doing now is looking for i'm looking for uh the other the other fuses there we go that's all the fuses so so there's multiple ways to attack this I'm just gonna have a look to see if there's any any ammunition now this is your first real test now what i like to do in this section what doesn't matter what i'm using i do it the same way i like to take the snipers out first because they if there's any high damage long range it adds in any section they are the ones that are going to hamper your your ability to move around the map so i'm just using my sword to get me back here as you can see this is where passive guard comes into its own now what happened here was as you will have seen i i got blocked off from my jumps by the boss so i'm just going to go down here utilize the cover see i got hit very hard there rift i'm all good now i'll tell you another thing that happened there is i didn't see the last sniper die so i was kind of staying in that area to try and kill the sniper because he teleported away from me so now i'll just kill this chat and there's the sniper that normally would just die straight away see how he straight as soon as i got up there he's wanting to teleport so my, my goal is always to take those guys out first and then i can move around the map a little bit better so because i'm on, on the wall lock i i can i can just nova straight away i can throw my nova and that will clear out the bulk of the ads you might have noticed there it killed most of the, the two captains at the bottom so you know made it a lot easier once i got back into cover and put the put the rift down but the other thing is because you've got the sword i could have just when i when i pushed the two snipers i could have put the rift up up the back and just got my constant health regeneration while i was fighting the snipers as soon as i come into this area the the open hangar area again the void snipers are the are the the thing i'm going to be looking at i take out the void snipers first and then i take out the arc captain so what i'm going to do i'm not going to I'm going to bother using my grenade. I'm just going to kind of go after the, the adds. If I can take one down, but more so, I wasn't really too bothered about taking an ad down. I was more interested in taking down, uh, getting the captain's attention. Now, because we've killed the captains, uh, you see there, I haven't got arc. Uh... I didn't go with with any resist i went with concussive dampener now i'm waiting for these guys surprised me a little bit there but my rift down right here grenades gonna sort the majority of them out now we've got a wave of screebs they're just there's only four of them so we just take those down and just shotgun any ads that, that end up coming. We've got our shotgun in reserve. My shotgun's got auto load and holster, which is really good. Now we're left with the two the two uh, abominations. So we just get the sword damage. Now I like to do uh, a couple of hits, four hits, and then do a big hit. Throw a grenade on the boy to the left. It doesn't matter what way you do this section, right? As you can see there, I was getting hit quite a bit with the arc damage when I was going up the ramp. But you see, I got hit, big hit there with an arc. Passive guard really tanks that, that damage. You see, I'm, I'm not taking a lot of damage from it now. It really tanks that damage. Now, we've got one of them finishable. So I've decided to finish that one guy, go up the ramp. I want I want the void snipers and the void ads down. So because I'm close to the ads now, and that that's the difference. Getting close to the ads creates survivability because of your uh, passive guard. So now I'm just going to try and get some explosions if I can, and just get some 
big ad clear with the explosions. Look out for your screebs as well. Any stragglers that don't come head on. Yep, the, scre the screebs actually spawned while I was fighting that wave and then moved around. So now I'm just looking to see if there's any more screebs. And we know that we've got an abomination down here, so I'm just going to throw my grenade down there. We've got two, two captains at the bottom. I would say you have to play a little bit more wary, because now, obviously, we don't have the health regeneration of the Lament and all the mods, but it's not really too difficult. So I decide to save some, some sword ammo. And just take out some ads with, because you can see, save some sword ammo. I decided to save the, the couple of pieces, pieces of ammo that I've actually got. So I'll just I'm just going to see if I can get a bit heavy. Not great for range, this this uh, submachine gun. As you can see, the abomination there. Just throw my Nova. Not bad. Now I've got four shots with the sword. It's not great. So I'm just going to throw a grenade down on top. And then we got them finishable. And there we go. I'm just... It is what it is. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to struggle for heavy ammo. Uh, I'm just having a look to see if there's any heavy line about. I'm not actually going to struggle for it. I just... It's, it's that safety thing that I would like just like to have a bit more heavy ammo uh, in case I need it. But uh, that is this section done. And then we move on to the jumping puzzle. And I will show you where the next kind of skip is. And a buddy of mine showed it me. I, I actually took two of my friends through the master and managed to get one of them just like from hanging back. Let me be, be aggressive. I got him the flawless. Uh... And one of these rooms, you can if you if you're doing it with your team and someone's experienced, one person can just wait, or two people can just wait here. And I think it's this room. I think it's this room. Uh, and and one person you can get your team to wait here, and then you'll come back to this room. I think it is this room. Uh, again, just th this. There's a, there's a quick way to do this section as well. And again, one of my subscribers and a friend of mine uh, pointed this out that you could do this. Uh, basically, when when you go upstairs to activate the arc, to activate the switches. See, there we got heavy. When you go upstairs, so we're just going to feather to break this. We're just going to feather the machine gun. Just one, two shot it. And uh, once we break it. If we ever do. Once we break this, I'm just pushing closer up just to get a little bit closer. Once we break this fuse, then what we're going to do is we're going to jump up, we're going to activate this switch, and then just go straight back down. It just it saves a couple of seconds. It's not major, but it does save time. So now we'll go and get the the Egregore link, shoot the pod, and then we'll move up into the next section. So your team is still waiting. They, they can actually see what you're doing. Uh, if you've got one player who knows exactly what they're doing, one player that's like, oh, a couple of players that don't really know what they're doing, uh, you can just, they can just wait in that previous room and you can do all of this. Which, I say all of this. It's not really that, that, that tough. So, again, what we're going to do is toss a grenade over to the left. That takes that takes care of the captain. And, you know, you see there. Very easy. Now we'll just break the link to these ads. Take these ads out pretty easily. And you just got to be careful. It's not because of damage that you take. It's, it's, you see that I got more heavy, now I can push with the sword. You just got to be careful because if you, especially if you're, if you're practicing, it become, get, obviously the flawless is on the master. If you're practicing to go flawless, then you want to get into the habit of not dying. And then your runs get faster and faster. So be careful here. You've got this, obviously you've got that, uh, turret. Break this, uh break this fuse that gives you the opens the door to the pod now you should be 
almost on your way back to your team who waited in that previous room. So go down here. You're now going to do the screed part. So what I do here is as soon as you drop down to the right, I break this and then I shoot out the two doors here. Uh, and then we go and shoot a pod and then you run down, go through the first section. Once you get past the second, turn left and then left again. You can jump that screed, but for the time it takes to shotgun them, <laughs> what's the difference? Now, you're back in this room with your team. And now everybody goes over to the pod, shoots it. So as you can see, that saves a lot of time for people that, that maybe struggle with those other sections or whatever, or, or is behind. Now this is my last kind of combat section, really. So I'm just going to throw an over. I'm, I'm, I'm not really going to need my super uh, at this point. Now all we've got now is the two abominations. So we're going to use the sword to go down as close as possible and then what I what I kind of done was I you see there was just shared the damage I got in between them and shared the damage and then we're going activate the switch and that is basically us we've just got a little bit of a jumping puzzle I keep saying puzzle it's not a puzzle jumping section uh, and then remember <laughs> I know I remember doing this remember to shoot the fuse what an idiot wasted that time so now we're going yep yeah, just just acknowledging on the screen that i'm an idiot for forgetting that fuse down here shoot the pod and now what i do when i get to this jumping section again if you're with a team that's maybe not so proficient with jumping or not comfortable moving quickly when they're doing the jumps what you what one person can do is straight over and take out the, the ads right now, I've got friends who, as you can see here, I, I think this was a, that was a good grenade. I thought, I, I thought I'd missed my grenade there. So what I'm going to do is just jump right round and I'm taking out these snipers. Now what you can do is, you can just get your team to go to the end. Right? And then there's a, there... So, so to go where you killed that last sniper, you can get your team. If you're doing this with a team and they're not so proficient at shooting the pods quickly and getting there, they can go at the end and wait. And once you've done it, or once the most proficient player on your team's done it, as you can see, one player just jumping all the way around. And then in here, you get some people that, that, that they kind of kind of worry about that section. They flap a little bit. And once you get up here, you can get your team to wait here. There's going to be a turret there. Once you get through here, there's a switch just to the right there. You can get your team to wait wait where the, where the sniper is. You come through here and pull the switch. That door will open on the other side. A turret will be there. Once you kill the turret, they can just come through there. Or I think maybe it opens up a pod. I, 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 I can't really remember. So here we are with the boss. So we're just going to charge a grenade, put the grenade on there, and just keep sm I've done a few hits on the boss. And just got them to go. Now I'm just going to attack the ads. Again, I'm going to try and wait as, as close as I can to have them full health before I actually go after the ads. And you see, I'm, 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 I'm actually being really lucky here by dropping heavy quite often. If you're not, use your sword just to break the captain's shield. And then switch to your shotgun. Because as long as you've put the captain, the, took the captain's shield down... You know, and, and match game isn't on. I'm just thinking for quickness. See what I mean? Break his shield and then shotgun him. Then you get these two two little guys here. You get two on each side. So make sure you activate the console on the first side. So I always go in this direction. You'll see in this run, I always do the same direction. That can help for a number of reasons, right? Routine is good. But also, when you finish attacking the boss, and you'll see here, when you finish attacking the boss, when we go downstairs, and then you come back up for the second wave, you'll know where the boss is going to be, because he will be where you left him. Again, I was just showing you guys, the sword can tank that solar damage. Uh, in case you're, you know, getting hurt there a lot. Now, the boss is there. I'm going to just throw my Nova. 
I want to get I want to get him into his final his phase pretty quickly. And then we're back up here. I can put a rift down. And we're all good. So the first phase every time is going to be your easiest boss phase. Right? It's normally the second and third phase. Second phase is probably, I think, the most difficult because you're not attacking with a super. You, you more than likely won't have your super. So for this phase here, you can see here, I actually forgot that we get screeps here and just went to attack the snipers. You do get screeps here. But I wanted the snipers out the way first, so I'd just be a little bit more careful there. I'm just going to clear out at these ads quickly. And now, now, that's most of the room gone, right? Now, my tips here... So I'm, I'm doing this, and I'm kind of telling you what I'm doing. So let's, let's talk about what maybe you should do if you're wanting to start getting into, getting into a routine that will eventually help you do this flawlessly, at the boss especially. Routine, as I've said, is really good. Uh, find yourself a safe spot where I've just killed this ad here, around the back here is a, so a safe spot. Have a place where you can go and, and get your health back should you need it. There's a number of safe spots all over the place. Uh, if you're doing this on Master, uh, solo and it might not be for everyone to get the flawless, doing it in a team is probably the best way to do it. Uh, if somebody dies during the run, they are now the aggressor. Now you can see here, you've got this on every side. These, these pipes, you can just jump down, keep yourself nice and safe. And then as soon as you need to, you can jump away. On this phase, you're always going to have each side, you're going to have a wave of ads waiting for you up top. It can be good to get, uh, to drop some ammunition, should you need it. And then once you've got full health, you can just drop down here and see what's down here. Just be careful, those captains are rough. But again... We've got a rift should we need it. So I decided the boss, I know the boss is down here. I decided to take out this captain. And there you go, I took the two captains and then just go after the boss and get him in, try and get him into his final phase. Come back up and we have got those ads to deal with again and we've got heavy there and we also got screams. Now... I, I didn't remember getting Screebs all the time upstairs, but I, I did this time. The other cool thing is, you see there, I can see that the boss is there. Some ads, just put my grenade on him. And I just, hopefully, can get him into his final phase. There we go, and just float back up. Now, what, I just, what I'm trying to do here, the reason why I went here, I wasn't sure how this would work is to take these snipers straight away. And it worked really well. The snipers are your biggest consistent threat upstairs after the first wave. You don't get them in the first wave. So after the first wave, you're going to get snipers. They are your biggest consistent threat. So I think I've just showed how to actually defeat the snipers straight away. It's just to go where they're going to spawn. Especially if, if if you're not doing this with blue blue weapons and blue armor you will have a better setup. <laughs> so you will be able to tank more damage, you'll have mods, you'll have, maybe you'll be able to get your recovery and all that higher. And you'll, you could be using the Lament. So you could just go and take those snipers down straight away from the center. And again, this last section shouldn't be too much of a hassle. You've got your super. Just take out these captains. And then we get with two little guys. Activate the switch once we take out the second set. As, as I say, I normally always do it in the same way. I always take this side out first. And then I take it the other side. And then I take the mid. And then I go down on this side. Because I, I kind of feel like that's where the boss is going to be. I think I kind of messed up. I, think, I can't remember. Because I, I did actually complete this a couple of times. Doing this just to... You know, do a repeatable. I'm just showing that I am using all blue weapons and armor while I'm doing this. In case anybody, you know, some people think creative editing and all that stuff. Did he change his armor? Did he change this? No, nope. full blue weapons and armor all the way through the run. As you can see there, I took a lot of damage because I didn't block with the sword. 
And I think I might have messed up here. I think I think when I put th fired my super, the boss was too close. No, I didn't. There we go. Throw my Nova. Now I'm I'm gonna. I actually went in a bit of a. I didn't mean to do this. But I, it's like the sword auto tracked. And as you can see here, you've got multiple places you can go. Uh, multiple exits, but they've all got those. Uh, They've all got those pipes that you can drop in. Now, I, I came up, you can see, you can see where I've came up. Now, I didn't have to fight these guys. I was just giving myself a little bit of time. You see, I've got heavy ammo. There's a captain up on each side. So I've decided, just because I know the boss isn't there, I went to the other side just to give myself a chance. I decided not to fight anymore as look at how much health the boss has got. Drop down here. You can have a little look. He should be around here so we can take this captain. And then we get a little bit, you know, take the boss take the boss out with minimal kind of minimal fuss. And that is it. That is the run, guys. That is a solo flawless using the only blue weapons and armor. We had a couple of uh, downstairs. You're, you're going to, you know, if, if you're attacking with a sword, especially a blue one, you're always going to have a bit of a time uh, health-wise. But remember, you've also got your rift. You could auto put, you know, you could pre-fire your rift to, to give you some way to run through to get health regen. Uh, you've got multiple ways you can get in and out of the boss section. Uh, just just try and use cover to your best advantage and hopefully just the little places that I've went will sh maybe help you guys again there we go that's blue weapons and armor thanks a lot for watching guys I hope you enjoyed the video I hope this helps you guys with your solos because I know there's a few people that maybe maybe aren't getting the solo every week or haven't managed to solo it yet that would be a great achievement for you guys if you could do it so hopefully this is going to help you guys do it let me know in the comments if you do manage to get a solo uh, if you like this, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. That would always be appreciated. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I appreciate all the support, and I will see you guys in the next video.